Quick session on auto bases and choking. That's right, in simple steps, we have automated choking of untinted bases directly in Corel Draw. Something you're not going to find anywhere else in the market. A lot of time invested in figuring out how to do this. All you have to do is click and it'll automatically create your base and choke at about one point. Now, you can create bases without chokes and go in and create your own custom choking and trapping and all that stuff with your vector objects, or you can convert to raster, raster objects and go do trapping and choking as photo, in photo paint as we've seen in some of the other tutorials. But I just want to go over this briefly so we can see how this works and see how effective it is. Because one of the places that we've always had issues is we go ahead and we turn all of our colors white and we turn, excuse me, turn all of our colors black and turn all of our black white and then we got to go through all these vector objects to try and put a little choke in there and now that's all been automated so you're not going to have errors. You'll be able to get your choked bases out to production without problem. So we'll take a look at this. Go to page two. I've got the United Association logo here, and all I'm going to do is simply convert this to a choked underbase. I'll do that very quickly in Simple Steps. So I'll open up Simple Steps here, and you can see I can create all of my separations here. If I want to create my choke base with my separations, I'll just click on Generate Underbase, Untinted. Choking does not work with tinted, so do not select tinted bases and run choke. You will not get a good result. Go ahead and click here on choke one point. You've got one through four points. Obviously, 90% of the time you're going to go with one point. Go ahead and click on generate separations, and we'll let Simple Steps process all of our separations and our auto choke for us. And then once Simple Steps is finished processing that, we'll get a monochrome bitmap, CMYK outline. You can left click to change the background color, right click to change the foreground color. Go ahead, left click to knock that background out. We'll change that black to a black. We'll go ahead and go copy, not save. I want to copy. Hit the wrong icon there. Let that finish processing. Now we'll go to copy. And we'll go ahead and tab our way through our separations here. And as you can see, we get back here to our full color copy. I paste in, and you can see we're going to have a white base choked under place. And, uh, beneath any place that we're going to have a color. Now we don't underbase our black because we never do that and we'll go ahead and right click here and if we zoom in we'll see that we have a perfectly choked auto base generated for us directly in Simple Steps and you can see you choke right there. So that's a very powerful feature, big time saver. Unfortunately only works with your untinted bases because the process that we use that's the only place it'll work. If you've got to choke a tinted base you'll probably want to do that manually. Go ahead and hit undo. I'm going to go back here and we'll go right back to our original graphic here and undo our separations and we'll go right back to where we started. And just in case you're in doubt, we'll go here to page three. I'll take this particular graphic, it could be client supplied art, and I'm going to go ahead and convert this to Pantone color. So I'll create, click on create palette here. I'll go and select the colors that I want to convert from right here to set up my separation. I'm going to go with black, brown, red, yellow, and white. We're going to change our conversion increments to 2. We'll stay with 15 to 18. One click conversion. As you can see there, I'll go ahead and tweak my jeans color here to a dark brown. I'm going to go back to separations. I've got everything set up with my underbase and my choke, and I'll click on generate separations again. And here you'll see in just a second, we'll have a perfectly choked white base set up with all of our separations instantaneously in simple steps. So, as I said before, that's a huge benefit. I have not seen any products on the, on the market that give you auto choking directly inside of Corel Draw. But as I said, this only works with untinted bases and not the tinted. The process won't work for that. And once Simple Steps is finished processing that, you can see right here again, once we've got a perfectly choked white underbase generated automatically by the system along with all of our other color separations. And if we want to do some tweaks and changes on our individual plates, we can do that. Now we'll go ahead and click on do here and we'll take a look at some other ways we can create our white bases. I can simply come down here, I'll turn this off because I don't need this when I'm down here in create underbase. I can simply select my graphic, I'll go ahead and turn off choke here. And What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a t untinted white base, leave it vector, but I'm just going to create only my white base. Say I'm going to outprint to a rip and I don't need to convert to halftones and draw. I've gone through all of my color management and all I want to do is get a white base to print out with my separations to my rip. All I need to do is to come down here and click on create under base make sure that I have everything that I want under base selected and we'll go ahead and click that and here within a matter of seconds I'll have a perfect white base set up directly in Corel Draw. if I want to do some trapping choking and tweaking with that 
I can do that very quickly and very effectively. And once again, we're going to eliminate human error. The right colors are going to be turned black, and the black is going to be turned white. So we'll have a perfect white base. This will take just a minute to process. Sometimes after I'm doing video for a while, it takes a while for my system to process all the video. You can see this is all in vector. All the blacks turned white, and all the colors are turned black. I'm going to go ahead and hit undo, and this time we'll do a tinted base so we can see the different tints. will carry transparencies and then turn the grayscales of black to tints of black in the white base. So we'll take a look at a tinted, but remember, on a tinted, you never want to run a choke. It's not going to work. I'm going to go ahead and click on Generate Separations here. Actually, instead of that, we'll just create the base. I'll come up here, Selection Function. I'll select everything here, and I'll create my tinted base. Now, this base you use for very high-end designs such as automotive designs and things like that. It'll take your blacks and convert those into tints. Now typically if I'm doing a high-end design, I'll actually convert that to a grayscale and invert it. I'll get a better um, conversion for that. But we do have tint in here. And if you want to go ahead and tweak this after it's generated as vector, you'll be able to do that. But here is a tinted base which is being generated automatically out of the system. Let's take just a second to process. And once that's done, you'll see that our blacks have been converted to tints of black where we're going to have gray, we're going to print white, we'll actually get tints of white and then our tints of black will come down on top of that for our gray. So that's our tinted base, but remember you can't do a choke like that. So as you can see here with simple steps, we're able to generate our bases and our white bases automatically in our separations or individually with chokes, but only in the untinted bases can we do our choking. So I'll go ahead and undo this and we'll go ahead and wrap up here and we'll continue in our next session.